Welcome to yet another Python programming video from your GK Buddy. In this video, we are going to solve one of the programming exercises in Computer Science Class 11 textbook for CBSE. The question is, write a program to read a list of n integers and find their median. Note, the median value of a list of values is the middle one when they are arranged in order. If there are two middle values, then take their average. Hint, you can use a built-in function to sort the list. Let's first understand what a median is. Median is the middle value in a group of observations after arranging all observations in an ascending order. If the total number of observations is odd, the value of n plus 1 by 2 term is the median, where n is the number of observations. For example, if we have the values 2, 2, 5, 7, 7, 8, 10, 11, and 11, the number of values in this case is 9, which is an odd number, we can see that the median is 7, which is the middle value. See, you have four values on to the right of it, you can four values on to the left of it, and this 7 is the middle value and therefore the median is 7. If the number of observations is even, then the median is the mean of the n by 2 and the n by 2 plus 1 th terms, where n is the number of observations. So in this case, we can see there are 10 values, and there are two middle values, 7 and 8. So what is the position of 7? It is 10 divided by 2, it is the fifth position. What is the position of 8? It is the 6th position. So if you have 10 observations, n by 2 is 10 by 2, which is 5. The first middle value is 7. Then the next middle value is n by 2 plus 1. That is 10 by 2 plus 1, which is 5 plus 1, which is 6. So the value in the 6th position is 8. So the median in this case is the average of 7 and 8. 7 plus 8 by 2, which is 7.5. We are going to apply this formula and this formula to find the median using the Python code. So let's head straight to the Python code. On your screens is the Ideally Python editor. We are using Python 3.9.1 version for this video. First of all, we are going to accept input, convert the input into integers and store them in a list. Let's start with the innermost function, which is the input function. Input function displays this message on the screen. It says, enter a few positive numbers separated by a space. And then on the input, we are going to apply the split method. Split method is a method which is used to split the elements of a string. As we know, the input function accepts the input from a user as a string and the elements of the string can be split by using the split method on the input. And for i in input, what it does is reads each word in the string, and as it reads each word in the string, split is applied on it, and the word is split as a separate string. For example, if the input made by the user is this string with nine elements, once the input is accepted, it is just one string with nine elements. Then the split method is applied on the string using the for loop. Then what happens? Each element of this string is made into a separate string. So we get nine strings with one element each. Now this element is in the form of a character. Though it looks like a number, this is of the character type at the moment. So we need to convert it into integer. We use the int function to convert each element into an integer. int i means i represents each element. So each element is converted into an integer. You can see the square brackets here, which represents a list named numlist. So each element is stored as an integer in numlist. For finding out the median, we have to sort the num list. So we use the method dot sort. So num list dot sort sorts the num list in the ascending order. For calculating the median, 
we have to find out whether the number of elements in this list is odd or even. The len function gives the count of elements in the list. So we use len num list and store the result in the variable length. We can see that if the number of elements is odd, as in this case, the middle value is n plus 1 by 2th term. And if the number of observations is even, the median is the average of n by 2th term and n by 2 plus 1th term, the two middle terms. Let's see how we can implement this in the Python code. So to check whether the count of elements in the list is odd or even, we take the modulus 2 of length. If the length modulus 2 is not equal to 0, which means that when you divide length by 2, you get a reminder and the count of elements is odd, then what is the median? Median is equal to, we do a flow division by 2 on the length. The flow division is indicated by double forward slashes. The result is the integer part of the quotient. Let's say you have 9 elements. If the length is 9, then if you do a flow division by 2, the answer is 4. Because when you divide 9 by 2, the answer is 4.5. But when you do a flow division, only the integer part of 4.5 is taken, so the answer is 4. Let's say if the length is 9, you get 4. So you get num list 4, which means that it is the fifth element in the list. You know the subscript of a list starts with 0. So if you want the fifth element, you give num list 4. By using this expression, we can find the median if the number of elements in the list is odd. Else, if the number of elements in the list is even, let's take an example. If you have 10 elements in the input, the median would be the average of the fifth and sixth element. Supposing you have 10 elements in the list, when you do a flow division, you get 5. You subtract 1 from that. Therefore, you get 4. Num list 4 represents the fifth element in the list. So you get the fifth element here. Now to find the sixth element, do a flow division by 2. You get the answer 5. And 5 represents the sixth element in the list. So this is the fifth element, this is the sixth element. You take the sum of both and then divide by 2. Then we do the print statement. Now let's see how this program runs. Let's click on Run, Run module. We get the message, enter a few positive numbers separated by a space. So let me type these numbers, 7, space 2, 5, space 8, space 10, space 11, space 7, space 2, space 11. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 numbers. 9 is an odd number. So we have odd number of observations. So let's type enter. We find that the median is 7. If we sort the numbers that we've input in the ascending order, we get the numbers in this order and the middle number is 7, which is the median. So in the next step, I'm going to add 12 to the list. Let's see, we get the median 7.5. Let's run the program again with even number of observations. Let's click on Run, Run module. So let me copy this input and paste it here and add one more number 12 so that the number of observations become even. Let's press the Enter key. And as we had seen in the example, we should get an answer 7.5. Let's see whether we get it. So the median is 7.5. The program works fine. So using this code, you can get the median correctly based on whether the observations are even or odd. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you love the videos in our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you again with yet another video. Have a great day.